What's going down folks? It's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another Madden 17 franchise video for you guys and this is week 4 of season 2 of the Falcons franchise and after a nice bounce back win last week against Detroit we're taking our two game win streak on the road in this one against the Minnesota Vikings. Now before we get into the gameplay I want to let you guys know that I did record this gameplay after the most recent tune in update and it feels like EA changed a few things and of course I'm going to point those out to you once they pop up in the video. Now Minnesota's heading into this one with a record of 2 and 1 the exact same as my Falcons so both of these teams are looking to prove that they're the real deal so getting this one started the Vikings hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson and the Falcons run defense is all over that one for a loss of two next play second and 12 after a delayed play action Bridgewater connects with Diggs and he's got one man to beat Keanu Neal's trying to chase him down and the shoestring tackle brings him down one yard shy of the goal line but check this out you guys in the replay can someone please explain to me how Ricardo Allen doesn't make the tackle right here looking at it in slow motion and Ricardo Allen turns to make the tackle but then dives the opposite direction away from Diggs. I've never seen anything like that until this most recent tuning update. That was just a weird play. Anyway though, after a couple of run plays are shut down here on third and goal, we stop AP from breaking the plane, but the ref throws a penalty flag and it's a face mask on the defense. So of course they get a brand new set of downs, Bridgewater comes back and makes an easy completion for a touchdown to his tight end Rudolph, and just like that they're up 7 to nothing. So how do the Falcons respond? Ryan taking the snap under center, connected with Josh Gordon, and he's got nothing but open field in front of him gets it all the way to the 15 the 10 and runs out of gas just shy of the goal line there at the three yard line what a run after the catch by Josh Gordon right there. So after the huge pass play, we're looking at a first and goal now. Matt Ryan just fires it into Julio on a slant. And are you guys noticing that Julio's doing the same exact touchdown celebration as Rudolph on the last play? I don't know if it's just a coincidence or maybe if it's a glitch, but it just seems a little bit strange to me that they do the exact same touchdown celebration. Now check out the kick meter right here, you guys. Did you guys see the way that it only registered my second click? And for all of you guys that may be thinking that it's user error, no, I know how to kick goal something is going on with the kick meter but we're gonna keep things rolling though on the Vikings next possession they try to go to the ground game Grady Jarrett shuts that one down bringing up a second and 11 Bridgewater has time in the pocket again connected with Diggs in the middle of the field for a huge gain a couple plays later on first and goal they hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson he goes nowhere on the play second and goal Bridgewater with time in the pocket throws it out of bounds avoiding the pressure third and goal now Bridgewater in the gun trying to scramble away from the pressure but the pressure kept catches up and Vic Beasley is able to take Bridgewater down for the sack. Look at Beasley work chasing down the quarterback running across the formation in pursuit and even Dominic Easley is able to get there too so both Dominic Easley and Vic Beasley get a half a sack on the play. So the defense does a good job at holding the Vikings to three and now we need to get our offense rolling. We start the next drive with a pitch right there to Coleman. He doesn't find much running room there only picks up about one on the play. Bringing up a second and nine now. Ryan connects with Josh Gordon on the deep end right there and he ends up making the play and check this out you guys their starting cornerback is hurt on the play I think that's Xavier Rhodes so you guys already know what I'm doing on the very next play I'm going play action dialing up the deep ball to Josh Gordon attacking the replacement corner and Gordon is able to pretty much walk in for the score right there and I don't know if that replacement corner is actually on the roster or if he's one of these computer generated rookies but either way Josh Gordon blows right by him and makes the grab for an easy score right there hey but one of you Vikings fans let me know if number 20 right there is actually a real player i think his jersey name read alexander on the back but i'm not really sure one of you guys let me know if he's a real player or not so once again check out the kicking meter here on the kickoff the same problem that happened during the field goal happens during the kickoff and when it does look how short the kicks are he took the ball at the 15 yard line that just pretty much guarantees they're going to get to the 30 on every kickoff but of course on this one Diggs ends up breaking loose and taking it all the way to the house you guys this is the first time i've ever had a kick returned on me in this game and i was so upset when this happened i really wanted to just get up and leave but that's just on us we have to do a better job in coverage now check this out after we went three and out on our next possession the same problem that happens on the kickoffs field goals are now happening on punts anytime that kick meter comes up that's what happens on my kicks is there anybody out there that's having the same issue with the kicks as I am? And on top of that, our nickel corner Drake Kirkpatrick gets hurt on the play. 
So this is definitely a really strange game, you guys, but it gets worse because on the very next possession, Adrian Peterson breaks one loose and takes it all the way to the house, you guys. Our run defense on that play was just horrible. Vic Beasley really let me down right there by getting walled off in the B gap. I really thought he was gonna play that at least a little bit better because I covered the edge with my user safety. And once he got blocked, he just gave up the big play right there to AP. So now we're down 10 in this one with 8.52 left in the second quarter. Matt Ryan goes up top to Josh Gordon makes the play right there next play we try to go to the ground game and that goes nowhere coleman had no running room so now we're looking at second and 13 ryan completely misses josh gordon that pass was just so inaccurate it's laughable i don't know what happened there so on third and 13 look at the catch by julio going up and grabbing it one-handed like that and on top of that there's a face mask on the play so we'll take the extra yardage and check out what happens a couple plays later on second and 10 coleman gets tackled there for a short gain after the handoff but that that play should have been a touchdown if Patrick DeMarco blocked that one guy right there. I mean, really, DeMarco, bruh, you have one job. That would have been a touchdown. Anyway, though, we end up making up for it on the next play with the pitch to Coleman. He hits the outside edge and runs in for the score. And once again, the same touchdown celebration is triggered. In every score of this game, you guys, they've all done that tutti fruity dance or whatever it's called. I've just never seen anything like this since the game's been out. Now, check this out. On the very next drive, the Vikings break the huddle to line up, and they've got a first and seven. For no apparent reason, the game just gave them an extra three yards. Just because. It really doesn't make sense. Now, Devondre Campbell does a great job in getting some of that yardage back for me. But wow, something is really up, you guys. I don't know. I'm not one to complain that often. But I think there's a bit of an issue happening with this game. Now, on third and three here, Keanu Neal does a pretty good job of coming up and making the tackle shy of the first down. So we take over after they punt it, first and 10, handing the ball off to Coleman, and Patrick DeMarco sabotages the entire play again, you guys. Take a look at this. DeMarco gets in my way to slow me down, and then he blocks his own teammate, Asamoah, and that stops Asamoah from blocking the guy that tackles me. So after that weird play, it's second and eight. Matt Ryan takes a seven-step drop, looks downfield, dumps it short to Coleman for no pickup on the play, bringing up a third and seven. Ryan with time in the pocket, then dumps it short, but it's batted down incomplete by the DB. Now on the field goal try, you guys already know what's going to happen here. The field goal attempt is way short. It's only a 42, 43 yard field goal, so it's definitely makeable. But I can't get it there because of the broken kick meter. So we're still down three in this one. Bridgewater tries to take a shot, but it's broken up by Westmoreland. He did a really nice job at batting that one down. So on second and 10, Bridgewater with the snap and completes the pass to Skinner for a nice pickup down the seam. A couple plays later, they toss it to AP. And look at what happens. AP does what AP does, throwing off defenders all the way to the goal line for the score right there. So you guys, this is where the wheels officially come off. On my next drive, Matt Ryan gets sacked, coughs the ball up. The Vikings recover it in great field position. Matt Ryan is frustrated. He wishes he had that one back because on the Vikings' next drive, Peterson gets the hands off and just skips into the end zone untouched for an easy score right there. And that's the official nail in the coffin. I did try to come out one more time and try to get back into this one, throwing a nice pass right there. And Gordon's able to come up with the completion at the 30. But a couple plays later, Matt Ryan trying to go deep to Julio Jones, throws it up, and Harrison Smith is able to come down with the interception. And that pass was really just out of frustration and desperation on top of it, trying to make something happen. And after forcing the three and out, we get another crack at it. I wanted to try to end this one on a positive note, but it just wasn't meant to be. This is just one of those weird, ugly games where everything that could go wrong went wrong. And on top of all the weird, questionable glitches that happened in the game, at the end of the day, I really didn't play that well so this loss is on me you guys i'm not blaming it on any of the glitches or anything like that i just wanted to point them out to you guys so you guys can see what i had to deal with in this one but anyways folks that's all the time i have in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'm signing off and i'll see you in the next one